Hey guys, welcome to Rogue Vault. And uh, this is uh, a simple video which I really wanted to make for my subscribers uh, as uh, I have been uh, getting a lot of questions about uh, uh, Kali Linux, uh, Wi Fi issues, Python issues. So uh, let me show you quickly uh, on the channel. So uh, I have my dashboard, so I'll I'll be getting all your comments over here, and uh, I've been getting uh, a lot of comments in recent while uh, based on the uh, how to set your Wi-Fi on Kali Linux, and also there are some uh, questions uh, which are also based out of uh, the video, which is installing uh, you know and upgrading Python in Kali Linux. So this is going to be, uh, you know, a real go good factor that uh, you know you guys have to know before having, uh, you know, Kali Linux and the Debian-based operating system work on Python. So yeah, there are a lot of questions which I have received about, uh, you know, what happened when they installed Python, the pip was not getting installed. Uh, you know, even a user said like, uh, you know, the Linux was as easy to install as windows but yeah there are differences but then uh, there are several uh, you know question put forward uh, just like this one just did all that uh, now that shows like 2.7.17 when I type in Python that means like it's not going to Python 3 uh, you know and there are a few more questions uh, you, you guys can go through this video and go to the comment section and you can see all those comments which have come up so there are a few like uh, you know installing python pip3 and reading package done so it comes up with an error like e package python 3.pip has no installation candidate so these are few uh, questions which came up on this particular video and not just just that uh, this particular python video uh, i also got few questions on other uh, videos as well which i really want to address in this so this is not going to be a tutorial uh, or a, you know uh, or or any any kind of uh, you know uh, training video or informative video this is going to be a just reference video uh, which will uh, talk about uh, latest updates from Kali Linux and latest uh, problems which uh, people are use, facing uh, using Kali Linux. So uh, over here I have like a, a, you know tons of questions over here like it works sometimes, it doesn't work sometimes like uh, you know they are setting it up uh, and then uh, the home Wi-Fi it's not getting connected uh, it's so there, there are there are a lot of questions which uh, I have addressed. I, I try maximum to address the questions. Sometimes I do get delayed, but then I still try and address all these questions uh, put forth. Uh, so and th there are questions like this, like but when I restart my Kali Linux, I again see that there is no driver installed. That is, this user has a problem where he install i mean he does everything uh, given in the video when he restarts the complete uh, kali linux uh, operating system he goes back to square one that means all the wi-fi all the settings he has done has gone in wing so uh, i know i have answered whatever i can but there are a few other questions as well uh, which uh, you know is also very uh, quite interesting when put forward so uh, let's get back to uh, the website of uh, Kali Linux and you can see here the the website has few updates so I, I want you guys as in like you are a pro or you are a beginner or you are a uh, you know intermediate user of uh, Kali Linux but then I definitely request you all guys to go down to kali.org uh, page and check what are the latest updates they have come up with so there are a few updates like one is the Kali Net Hunter. Uh, so Net Hunter got a, a, a pretty decent update uh, upgrade from what it has uh, as in a community from 2019 uh, to 2020. So 2020 one. So um, and these are the uh, real updates. So where there are certain chipsets which are. Uh, didn't have monitor mode and we have got all those monitor modes back on those chipset. It was very fascinating to see these Xiaomi and OnePlus, Nessus, 
Nexus phones, uh, you know, having uh, supported by default. So, uh, or users who have OnePlus or who really want to venture Kali Linux NetHunter on an Android platform and you want to do all the ethical hacking and stuff, Wi Fi hacking. So, for you guys, there's a good news is like OnePlus 7 with Android 10. Is officially uh, you know supported by uh, Kali Linux operating system and Xiaomi uh, Mi 9T with uh, you know MIUI 1.1 so 11 is also officially supported other than the Nexus phones. So uh, and also there is a quick update on uh, this. We have released two new images that is brand new images which they have released as a base OS. One is stock Android 8.1. So this is very you know interesting that we get, got a uh, net hunter for stock android and uh, lineage os and additionally wi-fi wi-fi adapters with injection support this is a real great problem with uh, kali uh, linux net hunter but this is addressed over here and you can see there's uh, both images include updated kernels and from legendary kim coder and adding injection support for these so this is a real feel good factor when Kali uh, you know, has come up with. So I would definitely would like to say that uh, we have a lot of problems in Kali Linux operating system from 2020.1A uh, and B and so on. But then uh, there are uh, people working around the clock uh, fixing this problem and there's one more uh, which is Kali Linux 2020.A release. Uh, so they have come up with a base image over here. So you can see that they have come up with one base image for almost, uh, you know, quite identical uh, platforms. So you can see here they don't want to have, a, you know, different base images for different uh, platforms. So they're introducing an installer image as well and a live image as well. So it is a really nice factor that Kali has come up with supporting Raspberry Pi and Vagrant and uh, Pinebook Pro. So these uh are going to be beneficial if you're going to dedicately install kali linux and it's going to be uh working uh one such was like in raspberry pi we had a kali linux issue when it comes to uh you know the hardware acceleration so now i suppose that is pretty much fixed uh, in this version so i didn't have a check on that i will definitely check and make a review out of it so this is one that is kali linux 2021a released and the next, uh, you know, thing which you would definitely would like to see uh, is uh, the root. Uh, so I have already made a video for this Kali uh, default non-root user. So by default, Kali Linux is going to come up with a non-root user. So it used to be a default uh, root user, but now uh, things have pretty much changed. Uh, so now what happened is because Kali is going to give you only uh, non-root user account uh, going forward so what uh, you can do is you can actually switch from non-root uh, account it's just like simple windows uh, account where administrator is disabled you all need to enable it the same way you can do that so i made a video uh, on this as well so we can uh, go to this uh, video over here which is uh, how to uh, you know unlock uh, or switch root account in kali linux so this uh, is one uh, such thing so I made a video on how you guys can switch back to uh, you know uh, the root account in Kali Linux so you guys can go through this and uh, you know check out this video to get over this because most of the application needs a root account or you have to keep on elevating the current account by uh, adding su, su, sudo and so on um, Next uh, update uh, which I really uh, quickly wanted to go with is about the you know, Python. Serious trouble because I have uh, several uh, of my own subscribers asking me questions on Python and pip problems and so on. So uh, definitely see you can uh, go through this video. Uh, you can see a lot of questions asked about uh, you know, Kali Linux 2020x version comes with the Python 2 and 3 pre installed despite bugs issue on Python 2. So, GitHub has come up with some blah blah package, and you're not able to install Python pip. And this particular full uh, directory was going missing. Uh, uh, so, there, there are a lot of questions which people have asked on this, and 
uh, Kali has officially come up saying we are done with Python. So that is end of life. This is just not Kali Linux. It is a Debian parameter. So Debian is removing Python 2 support. So for everybody uh, using Kali Linux or any version of Debian, be rest assured that Python 2 is gone and most of your application will malfunction or will not work. Uh, few people may be doing OSNT and a few will be using Python for any other scripting and so on. People who are doing this will have trouble because Python 2 is long gone. So it means uh, the, the critical bugs also have been fixed uh, in Python 3 uh, and all the application now had to be ported uh, to Python 3 so no more Python 2 based application will function in Kali Linux so if you have a lot of uh, scripts like old scripts which are working on Python 2 will have to port themselves to Python 3 and the Python 3 goes officially on Kali Linux so that you might have uh, seen here um, so this is a very important line where they say that the field releases critical bugs on leaf pack packages so leaf pad uh, without reverse dependency asking them to be ported to Python 3 if the Python 3 port is not happening soon enough the package will remove the Debian testing which is Kali is based on so we have to go with porting of all the Python 2 application to Python 3 and there are a lot of updates and fixes which have been done on Python 3 so keep a watch on this uh, those who have a problem with you know Python so that is one key uh, aspect which I want to talk about and other than that uh, there is mu no much big difference and I have definitely uh, have some uh, issues which even I want to talk about. Uh, one such issue which I want to talk about is about the wireless adapter. Uh, there are a uh, hell of a lot of questions for me on this particular wireless adapter stuff because uh, I, I, I get comments i get emails day in day out uh, about the wireless adapter and uh, it it been non functioning and uh, some of the other issues or sometimes it shows up and see uh, basically i want to tell you guys that the kali linux has a breed of bugs in when it comes to wireless adapter and detecting it and using it you guys will have a tough time for some time at least till the bugs are fixed so uh, if you have uh, say there are several users who came up with saying uh, your Wi-Fi uh, WLAN 0 or WLAN 1 shows up but then you're not able to scan the Wi-Fi uh, on the you know nearby Wi-Fi there are two possible reasons for that one is uh, there is a uh, you know a kernel level bug for this but then uh, second one is the compatibility of your driver even if uh, you know you see the driver is not compatible that is the Wi-Fi driver or device is not compatible that also creates a problem and the uh, very uh, suspicious thing is that uh, even after you have a very portable and compatible Wi-Fi device uh, or an adapter still there is a problem so what does that mean that means that you have not properly installed your Wi-Fi driver please don't depend on the compact driver you need to install the Wi-Fi driver of your device so please rest assured that uh, you know you install the appropriate Wi-Fi driver see uh, here it's a question here I've done this uh, and now network adapter seems to be activated but I can't connect to Wi-Fi anyways that is what I was talking about so activated in this particular st stance what he mentions here is that the Wi-Fi is WLAN 0 and 1 has come up but he's not able to scan the Wi-Fi and in the network panel WLAN 0 and 1 are graded out so it has come up but it's graded out so again so there are a, several possible probable uh, you know uh, you know it's troubleshootings you can do I have mentioned most of them over here but then uh, there are some problems as well like bugs also so you need to be careful about it but then uh, try and figure out some of the other way to uh, use Kali Linux for some time so that the next release would definitely come up with the fix for all the Wi-Fi issues and uh, you know there are, there are also other questions uh, which uh, have raised that I had repeated the whole process every time start my okay this is really good question that but when I restart my Kali Linux I again see that there is no driver installed so it means every time you do the configuration and restart everything goes missing 
right so there are few possible ways by which you can fix this but then this is not a solution um, probably Kali Linux or the, the team of Kali is working on it so that is one and otherwise there are other questions also put forth like uh, you have a compatible Wi-Fi uh, drive device and you're still not able to scan so please do hold on for this uh, probably we might get a pretty much good uh, update very soon from Kali so otherwise uh, there is no much permanent fix available for Wi-Fi issue for now so I would definitely request my subscribers to uh, hold your nerves for some more time but till then try and figure out a way to use a wired connection which perfectly work, uh, works on the Kali Linux machine regardless of VM or regardless of uh, physical or regardless of uh, you know live CDs, live USBs the, the connection that is uh, wired will work but wireless will not work so this is one uh, thing which I want to add so otherwise uh, there are uh, a few other things which I really want to come up and show you guys was so uh, you can actually go to github uh, this is the link I'll definitely give this link on the uh, you know video uh, description you can actually check there is two uh, scripts over here which is uh, one is Kali fix automatic fix so this one is Kali Linux bug and problem automatic fix uh, script which uh, you guys can uh, use to fix any issues with Kali uh, though I have not done the testing completely but I heard that this is fixing pretty much good problem uh, with Kali Linux and uh, other than that there is one more uh, Kali Linux missing files uh, bug fix is this one uh, this is for missing firmwares or non-free firmwares after installing Kali Linux. So you can actually clone this also and try and run this so that you can actually fix the uh, basic bugs and issues in Kali Linux. So this is a very vital link which I uh, have got. I'll share the same in the uh, video description. So uh, this is what I really wanted to quickly address upon. So uh, keep your nerves. Uh, the Kali Linux bugs and fixes are coming up and your Wi-Fi issues, your Python issues and everything will get fixed very soon. So that will be all for this video and this uh, video is really not <clears throat> on an educational prospect. This is just to a reference prospect and I hope you guys had a, a better reference of what uh, you know is going on with Kali Linux. So uh, I'll definitely come back with several other videos. Uh, till then, this is Rogwal signing off. Keep learning. See you.